right so question three the line l1 has equation 3x plus 5y minus 2 equals 0 find the gradient of l1 okay doke right best way to do this is to rewrite it in the form y equals mx plus c so we're going to rearrange the equation 3x plus 5y minus 2 equals 0 so let's rearrange it into the form y equals mx plus c so that means 5y is going to equal negative 3x plus 2 and then divide across by 5 so y is going to equal negative 3 over 5 x plus 2 over 5 and now that we've got it rearranged I can say therefore m1 which is the gradient of l1 is equal to negative 3 over 5 second part now says the line l2 is perpendicular which is really important information it's perpendicular to l1 and passes through this point here find the equation of l2 in the form y equals mx plus c where m and c are constants so naturally we're going to have to use the um y minus y1 formula but before we get to that in fact i'll write that formula down here we're going to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 here okay where x1 and y1 are a point on the line and m is the gradient of the line well there's our point i'm going to use the fact that it's perpendicular to work out the gradient so part b as l1 is perpendicular to l2 that means that when i multiply the gradients m1 times m2 i'm going to get an answer of negative one which means that m2 is going to equal one over sorry negative one over m1 which is negative one over the gradient we had over negative three over five and we're just we're showing the workers here to make sure that we get full marks and um, essentially what i'm going to do with this m2 is i'm going to flip it and change the sign so it's going to become five over three okay got the gradient i've got the point three one so l2 y minus 1 equals m2 m which is 5 over 3 times x minus x1 which is 3 and now i need to write it in the form y equals mx plus c where m and c are constants so essentially i'm just going to span expand this guy out um so y minus 1 is going to equal 5 over 3 x and then when i do 5 over 3 times negative 3 we're going to get negative 5 which means that y is going to equal 5 over 3 x and adding 1 to both sides we get negative 4. so we've written the equation in the form y equals mx plus c okay there's a mark scheme there just confirming it y equals 5 over 3x minus 4 you can have a look at that if you need to um, and then here we've got what the examiner said again important things lots of candidates didn't know how to find the gradient when given the straight line so you've got to be familiar with uh, rearranging and then there's some other information in there as well so do take your time and have a read of that